Well, good morning, good evening, good afternoon. The name's Defender, and welcome to day 13 of Hades. Previously, um, what weapon did I use again? Oh, we used Varatha, the Eternal Spear, with the aspect of Achilles, I think. Well, anyway, we escaped again, so that's the important part. But this time, we're going to use uh, the aspect of the aspect of Eris for Hexagriff. All right, so let's go. Um, let's see. We're gonna turn this off. Which one? Do we, you know what? Let's just use the standard. You know, enemies deal more damage. That's always fun, right? Okay, let's go. See that exagriff? Hmm. No, let's get the rocket bomb. Let's see how this goes. Yeah, so now we just straight up have a rocket launcher. Rearming. You know, ye, ye old Greek rocket launcher. Going in. This will be an interesting run, I think. Chaos. You should know I have located her already. Though where she is, I cannot stay for long. So I'm visiting as often as I can. It's not unlike our visits here. Only somehow even harder to get to where she is. I see. And it is good to know that you have been in contact. And I trust that your successive visits shall be worth their while. Not unlike our visits here. Let's see. How about... Blade Eclipse. It shall be done. I think this is going to be a good run. Uh, I will admit, I, I'm i not the biggest fan of the ranged weapons. I, I like them for a change of pace, but they're not my preferred choice. I don't know, not to say that the ability to press fight from a distance isn't helpful, but I just prefer something a little, a little more direct. Maybe not to this extent of, like, uh, Malfon, but, you know. But yeah, this is run number 13, which, uh, is actually kind of significant because, well... In terms of, I don't know if this is for, ow. For like every variation of this, but I know in most standard tarot decks, um, the Arcana of Death is number 13. Which is even more appropriate because uh, on my first save file, run number 13 was actually the first time I ever escaped. So, you know, it's, that number has some significance in this, I guess as it should, ow. But that was then, and this is now. I'm much more experienced than I was back then. You know, all of two weeks ago. Oh, that's oh. Chaos. The curse of chaos has been lifted. All right, so now I get more darkness and more gemstones. Oh, speaking of darkness. Hopefully we can run into Sisyphus. We'll be able to get a lot of darkness there. See, I'm going to be recording uh, two runs today because this is Sunday, the time of this, of this recording. And I need to, because I'm still working my 9 to 5, so I gotta, you know, gotta prepare for all of that. Ooh! Ooh, it's in the well first. The old well. You know what, I'll get a trove tracker. Hmm, Ares or Poseidon? 
Let's go with Ares. Okay. Takes care of that. I've sent so much death at the gates of your father's realm of late, my kin. Now I know that seems perfectly ordinary on the face of it, except there's something more. I wonder if you know the reason why. Hmm, I don't know about that. I can't think of any possible reason. You know what? Let's get Curse of Pain. So now my rocket launcher inflicts doom. Fight. Hmm, gems or nectar? I'm gonna get some nectar, because I have none. Wait, that just... Actually, I could use the health. Remain exactly where you are. Okay. I mean, I want what's in the chest. I'm not going anywhere, Dad. Load. I got all my health back. I've never encountered a problem that couldn't be solved with high explosive weaponry. Except maybe trying to find a parking spot, because then you gotta file all kinds of insurance and that kind of thing. It's just, it's just more trouble than it's worth. I love the big blast radius of it. Some more darkness. I'm gonna go for the centaur heart. Keys or you know what? I'm gonna go for gemstones. Might as well put that boon to good use. But I gotta say, that's another thing about this game that I really like is that there's a ton of stuff to unlock. Like, ow. Even in my main save file, uh, I'm still like discovering new parts about the game. I'm not even close to like the quote unquote end of it, which, you know, is really impressive, but then again, you know, this is supposed to be a roguelike game, one where you just keep going over and over again until you get through it. I think one of the things that I like in this game over uh, other roguelikes that I've played is that your progress, in a sense, kind of keeps throughout each run, like, you know, obviously you don't get to keep all of the boons, the money, your weapon upgrades, all that stuff, but 
Things like gemstones, darkness, you can use that to improve yourself for future runs, so even if you, you know, don't get very far in a run, it's still worthwhile. You still get some benefit out of it, so it's always worth it to try. There's, I know there's a, a give up selection in the menu, because you know sometimes you just have to, but I have never used that in any of my, at least right at the time of this recording, almost a hundred total runs, so I don't know, I just think because that's always something that I really like in video games, is the sense of progression. Even if it's just like, you know, a level and your numbers going up. I like that kind of thing. It's honestly why I prefer to play, when I play like an RPG or a game with RPG elements like a Ratchet and Clank game, I always prefer to play a standard new game, not, you know, challenge mode or new game plus, because I just like the sense of growth. Um... All right, so who have we not given any nectar to yet? Eurydice and Patroclus. Okay, so then I gotta hold on to this. Uh, I'll just take everything. I knew that foul potion would come through, and you would find amongst his wares this gift. Ooh, Ares aid. All right. See what to upgrade. Oh, well, let's just increase Ares' aid then, and get some darkness. Which sister this time? You know what? I'll guess it's Meg. I'm here, Meg. Good guess. I have to level with you, Zagreus. For all we've been through, never once have I wanted you to meet my sisters. I can't imagine why not. We had a lovely time getting to know each other. We laughed. We cried. My only regret was that you couldn't be there yourself. You don't know what you're saying. There's a reason that they're not permitted in the house. Oh, come on. One of us is going back there now. And it's probably you. I will say, another fun thing about doing this project is that having already progressed through most of the early game in my original file, you know, as you, as you generally do, is that I get to see like all the details and I'm even seeing conversations and things that I didn't see on my first time through at this early stage of the game, so I just think that's really interesting. And plus, knowing more about how things unfold has been really fascinating. Sometimes I think going back and playing a game again can be more interesting than the first playthrough. All right, so Ares Call just turns you into a Beyblade, basically. It's really good. I did it. Blood. And up we go. I ought to lock you up in Tartarus. And yet you don't, which we are eternally grateful for. Uh, let's see. You know what? I'm going to keep that. I'm going to keep that keepsake. Heading up. Clear. The Asphodel Meadows. Again, with the whole meadows thing, this doesn't look like any meadow I've ever seen. More spreaders.
see, that's the nice thing about explosives. You don't really have to aim that much. Got to hold on. Let it rip. Ooh, hyper sprint. All right. After you dash, briefly become sturdy and move 100% faster. Moving right along. Now that's some zooms right there. I'm gonna take the darkness. You know, for all the playthroughs and the amount of time I've probably said the word darkness, at least it ha it's never gotten as confusing as a Kingdom Hearts game. And I mean, I love the series, but like, Kingdom Hearts has just really become so utterly ridiculous and not worth following its plot that it's just like, I don't know, I've just become numb to the whole thing. I still enjoy playing the games, but it's just like, I can't invest myself in any of this anymore, and, you know, that doesn't mean that you can't stop loving something. I heard that was another chaos gate. Eh, why not? Let me have it. Give it to me. In the name of Hades. Let's see here. Huh. I learned my lesson from last time, especially for such a piddling reward. I'm not doing that. Um you know what? Let's get Addled Lunge. Thanks? Good to be back here. Welcome. Hello. Uh, here, take this. Eurydice, thank you for making me feel welcome in your pleasant home. Can't say the same for most places I've been lately. I have a small gift I wanted you to have. Oh, that's awful sweet of you, your royal majesty. Bringing me fresh ingredients like this. Know what? Here's something for you to help keep you safe out there. Oh, thanks. Thanks so much. Obtain the evergreen acorn. Say, tell me something there, your royal majesty. You know a lot of shades. You wouldn't happen to know an Orpheus, would you? Spindly little thing, whiny voice. Heard he's officially serving in your court, making music. That he is. Of course I know Orpheus, we're mates. Wait, why do you ask? Your mates, huh? Just as long as you don't count on him for anything. Hasn't even mentioned me, has he? Well, if he ever does, you tell him I am doing great. I'm great. Hmm. You don't say something like that without some history behind it. Um, but this doesn't seem like the time to be asking questions. You know what? Let's go with Ambrosia Delight. That can be arranged. Thanks so much. So Ares, Aiden, and Hyper Sprint are now better. From within the humble residence in Asphodel reverberates the golden sounding voice of Lorne Eurydice, who once attempted to escape the underworld and failed utterly, much like Prince Zagreus. You watch yourself, old man. Yeah, we've escaped several times. Not for very long, but we've done it. Till next time. Bye. And we'll do it again, old narrator man who lives in my head and may or may not be imaginary. Oh no. to have fallen into a rut. I mean, I'm okay with that. You're the one losing this fight, not me. Enough of them. In the 
name of Hades. Hmm. How about... Blade Dash. Ooh, Lady Athena, okay. This could be interesting. No more Dracons. And I'm not talking about the earbuds. That's enough out of you. Not that you really did much of anything in the first place. There's something that I've wished to tell you, Zagreus. There is no shame in your upbringing. Many of us on Olympus, we likewise were born and raised under the strangest circumstances. Someday I'll have to tell you about mine. You know what? Let's choose Phalanx Shot. Your wisdom guide me. See, nothing of value. Uh, I'm a little low on money, so I'll take the centaur heart. Well, looks like I'll have to go into the Hydra fight without the ability to cast, which is unfortunate, but, uh, well, that's the choice I've made. I've made my bed. But now I have to not sleep in it because it's too small for me. Touch me, and I shall have your head. Well, we can take their head anyway, Zagreus. But then again, it just kind of crumbles, so, you know. It's not like we could even take it if we wanted to. There we go. That distant memory really putting in some overtime. Uh, increased damage on the Pact of Punishment really hasn't contributed that much, but then again, we're still in, you know, the, only the second zone. And again, it's not, we haven't really combined it with anything else yet, because, well, we have no need for it. Because after all, you know, there's no reason to crank the heat up so much until, uh, we need to. It's not like, I don't actually know. Do you get all of the, uh, previous tier rewards? If you crank the heat up beyond what you should, like, if we're currently on heat one with most of our weapons, so if it was like, if I went up to heat three with something that I haven't cleared with on heat one yet, does that mean that I get three Titan Bloods for uh, getting through Tartarus and that kind of thing? I've actually never done that before. Might have to uh, look into that. The only problem with so many heads is that they keep absorbing shots not intended for them. They're accidentally covering each other. Or maybe it's all intentional. Oh, psst. there I go, hurting myself, but because I can't remember what, what curse I took. Okay. Is you know, you, you fall into a rhythm and it's just like, you just forget. I'm just so used to flinging my casts at enemies. Or in, in the case of last one, just attacking things. Once this head goes down, we'll uh we'll wrap this up. All right then, let's Beyblade.
All right then. That's all the heads. I guess I can see why they don't let that skill last very long. Beautiful. All right, another diamond and more gemstones, of course. See, two encounters, all right. Hmm. You know what? I could use some more health. Should I take the train? No, nah, I'll keep everything. Onward then. There. All right, back to Elysium. I wonder if there's a disco there. I guess that's something I could talk about. Um. Everything's so green. I don't know about any of you, but uh, I tried playing Disco Elysium. I saw it was on sale, and so I was just like, you know, I've heard good things about it. I'll, I'll play it. And I don't know. I just, I couldn't gel with it. I didn't hate it, it like at all, but it's just, I don't know. I just think it might just be one of those things that's just not for me. And honestly, I'm not really sure if I could give you a good, not a good reason, but I'm not sure I could properly explain just what felt off about it, but I don't know. It's just something about it. I think it might only be something that I have to kind of sit on for a while longer. Oh, the arrows are gonna take care of the butterfly ball. That was nice of them. Yeah, I don't know. That's always one of the worst things. When there's some kind of, whether it's a movie, a book, a video game, whatever, that you just don't jive with, and you can't explain why. I bet Charon's going to want all this. I don't know. For some reason, that always frustrates me, because I always like to think that I'm pretty good at explaining myself, and, well, sometimes I just can't, and, you know, that, that can be frustrating. Sure. Not so much as think about it. Well, I mean, I already tried to open the chest, so I guess I did already think about it. I mean, you know, art is completely subjective, so... I guess, I guess it kind of makes sense that sometimes there's just something you can't really put your finger on. Why? Help yourself. That's what makes it interesting. All right, what to take? Let's get another centaur heart. I guess I really am just running the full projectile build this time. You know, I got a rocket launcher. You know, I got my bone machine gun. Ooh. All right, so now distant memory deals 30% damage to distant foes. All right, what's in the old well? Nothing I care about or need at the moment. Uh... You know what? I'm gonna get a palm. I'm gonna jazz things up, cause honestly, I don't. Oh, got to use the fountain to get out of here. All right. Power of Olympus. Okay. How about let's increase Curse of Pain. To my health, although I'm full. So should I go with Poseidon or more Obel? Let's go with more Obel. Ooh, another chaos gate. Right there. Did 
I gotta admit, I really do enjoy, I enjoy doing this. It's just a, a nice, laid-back kind of thing. I know, not to name any names, but some of my friends, they, they didn't quite jive with it. And you know what, that's fine. But honestly, this whole thing, and really everything that I do, whether it's on YouTube, Twitch, or whatever, I do it because I think it's fun. I, I do things because, well, I enjoy them. And really, the only audience that you have to please with anything that you do is yourself. Because let's face it, if you're not enjoying what you're doing, then there's no way anyone else is going to. Well, I, guess, I guess I shouldn't say no way, but you know, people can very easily tell when a creator doesn't really give a crap about what they're doing. Of course, you know, everyone has their own opinions on how things should work, and, you know, I've always been of the opinion of, you know, if there's some, if you don't like how someone is doing something, you know, that's totally fine, but, you know, you should do it yourself. <laughs> if you want something done right, do it yourself. Excellent. Let's see. Let's just get some more chaos. Going in. We're, we're just going full chaos mode this, this run. Hmm. Can't earn money. You know what? Let's go with Popper Soul. All right. So I can't score any money, but I'll get a reward afterwards. Thankfully, I've got a good amount of cash, so I will absolutely be able to, uh, at least with this upcoming Charon shop, be able to do something. And I, maybe I should have made this more clear when I first started this project, but this is all just because, you know, I just thought it would be fun. Like, I was really enjoying playing this game, and I know some friends who've done this kind of thing with other roguelikes, like uh, Finding Isaac. And so I figured, hey, I'd just take an honest crack at it. Like, I, I, I have no intention of turning this in, or any other game into, like, something that's a common occurrence. Time to go, then. I just wanted to try something different, so, um... Uh, What's for sale? Um... Yeah, I'll get the eye. I have no... Hmm... Don't have any nectar. You know what? I'm gonna choose the darkness. I got the boon, and I need to try to get this curse off of me as soon as possible. But yeah, I, I guess that could be kind of seen as a character flaw in some sense. I like doing things my way. I'm, I've never taken, like, you know, a full-on personality test or anything like that, so I don't know if I would truly classify as type A, but I do like to be in, at least in the things that I do, you know, like, in my own little bubble of things, I like to be in control. So it's like, you know, if I'm, you know, if I'm on a job, and, you know, I have my own little sector that I work with. They're just like my own individual tasks. I like to be in charge of those. I mean, obviously, you know, if there's a preset or a pattern or that kind of thing, you know, I'm more than willing to go with that. I'm more, I'm totally capable of following procedures. I'm not, you know, a sub I'm not subord subordinating anyone over here. I don't even think that's a word, but... When it comes to my hobbies, I do things to please myself. <laughs> and uh, if other people happen to enjoy them, hey, that's a fringe benefit. Nice. Being mauled to death by butterflies. This is not how I wanted to go out. There we go. 
More health? Okay. Transgressions are not tolerated. There we go. I expected more from the exalted. There. Ah. That's a lot of health. Um You know what? Let's go for another centaur heart. So many flame wheels. I just realized they probably couldn't have called these enemies hot wheels because they, you know, copyright and all that. But I don't know, I, I just think that would be funny. Are toy cars still, like, a big thing? Because I'm trying to... Well, to be fair, I, I have barely watched any television for the past couple of years, because, you know... It, the, the way we understand television is kind of on its way out, if you ask me. But that is a discussion for probably much smarter people to have. But I don't know, I just... I haven't seen any commercials for that kind of thing. Is, it, is that just not what the kids are into these days? All right, Charon Shop. All right, and one more encounter before we can uh, obtain more money. Yeah, I'll just take everything you have, my good man. Why not? No, I'll take Divine Strike. The strength of the goddess. Get more gems and more health. All right, let's go put these clowns in their place. Hey, everyone, I'm back. The monster has returned in a vainglorious attempt to wrest the title champion from me. I couldn't care less about your title, though shouldn't you share it with the Minotaur? He's more than half the reason you've been in any trouble. You'll not drive a wedge between us, fiend. Asterius and I share a fraternal bond forged from the strongest bronze, nay, adamant. You have caused us both offense, so die. You know, you could just let the Minotaur, you know, talk. I know he's probably not the biggest on talking, and that's fine. I'm not, I'm not the biggest on talking, but, you know, I think he'd like to say something, you know, every once in a while at least. Oh yes, clearly unlike yourself. Mm. Sensing a little uh, hypocrisy there. amount of casts. That would be a problem. Alright, half health. If only I could deflect his charge, that'd be something to see. Your weak sense of resolve. Ah, uh, uh, yes. 
All right, time to finish you off. All right. Oh, I got hit twice. That's not good. Man, how many times can you be shot in the back and not die? It's almost an impressive amount. Are you still talking? I guess so. Alright, who's coming in for the assist? Almost there. And then we'll finally have some peace and quiet. You know what? Let's just saw blade this guy. Alright. I don't just shut him up. Thanks, everybody. Oh, so now I just have more health. Was not about to let you down, my shade. All right, onwards then. Nothing good awaits beyond my realm. I'll be the judge of that. Let's see, so the Evergreen Acorn, in the final encounter of each Underworld region, i.e. the boss, take zero damage the first three times foes hit you. That's pretty good. Uh, let's see, you know what, I'm gonna switch to... I'm gonna go back to the Black Shawl. Okay. Ooh, you know what, I'll take that. Also, as you can see, you can only change your uh, keepsakes once per area, so don't get any fancy ideas to the top. <laughs> the Underworld's entryway. Ooh, fishing spot. I would like the Titan blood, but it's just going to be too expensive. Wait for it. Wait for it. There we go. Let's discover, all right. All right. Hmm. Let's let's go with the Centaur heart. Ah. More satyrs and their extremely bad table manners. Just 
Just trying to make sure that there aren't any shiny urns holding money. up after yourself. Alright, so let's see. Will this be the encounter I've been dreading? Actually, you know what? This is run number 13. It would make total sense if I found it here. Well, at least not in this room. This bothers a bona fide carpet bomber. Which we've kind of had mice running around the house, uh, which has been a problem. We, my family and I have been trying to deal with them. Because, look, mice are cute, but we don't want them in our house like that. Right. Uh, okay, that's it for this chamber. A moment's rest. But just a moment, because we're going right back in. Let's go... Let's go see Lady Demeter. Oh, I, well, I literally dashed right into that. Hmm. Ah, uh, yeah, no. I don't know, I just usually think that um, the power of a boon, even something relatively simple, is worth more than just money. Usually, I would say. There we go. Ah, the Black Shoal has ranked up. Now I deal plus 20% damage striking undamaged foes and foes from behind. Oh! I did fast this time. That was fast. Alright. I don't suppose... No. It is nothing, Little Sprout. It's just... I hear such wicked rumors now and then about my daughter. Lost to me. And what became of her? Kore, we called her then. Persephone is what she called herself. Before she vanished utterly, leaving no trace. Oh. Hmm. You know what? I'm gonna take. Snowburst! Now back to Cerberus. Had quite enough here, thanks. Alright, so we could go to Cerberus. One Satis act coming right up. But honestly, I'm feeling confident, so let's keep going. Um, you know what? I'm just gonna jump right into the Let's see what's in here. Dangerous chamber. Look, I I know I keep asking for it, 
and I'm gonna get it eventually. I just am, but it, I just think it's funny that I have not run into the encounter that I've been dreading yet. Maybe this one will be the one. I'm actually kind of hoping it will be, because, well, I just want to be able to show it. Okay. Let's see what's in the well. Anything I need. You know, I'll take the hydrolite. And yes, in case if you're wondering, uh, if you deflect the satyr's poison darts at them, you can actually poison them. All right, who's in the room? Nope. Just another giant satyr. All right. Thank the gods. Thankfully, that ability to deflect the poison was really nice. Going back. All right, back to the center area. I can leave or explore more tunnels. Let's go with the Daedalus hammer. Maybe this way. Look at all that coin. And it's all for me. I don't know how the sound team managed to get just such a disgusting pre-fork sound effect for the satyrs, but it's really unnerving. And we do mean that literally, by, you know, destroying all of you and shattering you into a million pieces. I will say, the one thing I don't really like about the Adamant Rail is that it kind of seems to get stuck on the terrain sometimes. Like, it's just your perspective makes it look like you've got a nice straight shot, but it turns out you don't. And so you just wind up shooting the wall like a dingus. Where's that bother? There it is. Think you can just take pot shots, do you? That's my job. So long, trash. All right. The rails hidden power. Hmm. You know what? Let's get Cluster Bomb. It feels lighter than before. So, does this mean what I think it means? Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. Heading back. 
that is gonna be good. <laughs> missiles for everybody! Everybody gets missiles! This is probably outlawed somewhere, but quite frankly, I don't care. I think we're outside of its jurisdiction anyway. That is just ridiculously unnecessary. But that's the way I like it. I'm sure glad that I don't take like any blast damage from this. That'd be really awkward. Here, eat this! That just deals an obnoxious amount of damage. I mean, I'm sure my enemies would complain about that, but uh, I don't care. be like an interesting idea for a, I don't know, maybe like some kind of RPG villain. It's just right that the only reason they're a villain is that because they have like the game's code at their hand so they can just like, eh, this hero's dealing too much damage and just bring it down or something like that. I don't know. I think there could be a lot of meta jokes about that. God's grant me strength. Hmm. You know what? Let's go with uh, Divine Strike Plus. Juicy. All right. Well, that's enough of that because we literally can't go in anymore. Chow time, boy. Are you hungry? Hmm. Let's get, an, let's get a Hermes boon. I'll take this one. Get side hustle. Nah. Greatest reflex. And then finally, honestly, I think we'll get more value out of the two smaller purchases. Ooh. All right. You know what? We'll take hydraulic might. And finally, delicious. Let's increase the power of phalanx shot. All right, here you go, Cerberus. Joyfully, the Hound of Hell accepts another Sator sack. Thank you, boy. Cerberus Vanquish, he's fine. All right, Hades time. I'll just keep coming back. Why? Why do you keep showing up? In spite of knowing that the outcome shall be just the same as how it always was. Beats having to toil away under your overbearing supervision. And besides, as you may be aware, I've recently made up my mind to leave this place. Yeah, utterly incorrigible. When next we meet here, then we'll keep it brief. I've grown weary of our aimless conversations. Now prepare. All right, then. Oh yeah, this this spread missile special is fantastic for getting rid of these uh, casts. No. To me, riches. Destroy my kin and the 
Aren't they already suffering an eternal torment? How can you make their eternal torment more eternally tormentable? Got enough to go Beyblade mode. Oh no, my nose itches. Power through. Power through. All right, here goes. Honestly, I don't think that was as good as it could have been because I couldn't I couldn't make up my mind. Oh well, it, it did some good. Really? Stop running from me! That was such an annoying witch spreader, whatever your name is. Next phase. We're not finished. We are not finished. Didn't I just say that? Here it comes. That blasted. That's pretty good. What, again? Okay. I went with the spin to try and uh, get through the shockwave, but it looks like we won't have to worry about that. Honestly, that was, uh, <laughs> that was pretty stinking easy, all things considered. I didn't even have to use a Death Defiance. But then again, when you're equipped with a spread rocket launcher that fires five missiles in one pull of the trigger, I guess you don't really have much to fear. And fear is for the weak. And yes, there can in fact be fishing spots in Greece. Your mind. I caught a bass. No time to admire the sunlight. down in that gloomy house. I miss old Cerberus the most, I think. But I miss other things as well. The lack of light was gentler on my skin, not being as cold. And Nyx and her young sons. It was all very odd, but... Mother, in father's bedchambers, 
Mind you, there's almost nothing there, just neatly sorted rows of all his samey capes, but on his nightstand is a portrait of you, wearing a regal crown of red laurels, a queen, his queen. I was fitted for those garments when I first arrived. They were not my customary style. So Hades has a portrait of me still. Why would he put it back on display now? No, no, he's never let anybody in his bedchambers. I broke in, don't you see? He didn't put your portrait back on display. It's always been there, ever since you left. So, Mother, why do you suppose he would do that? Because he... Because he loves me still. Is that what you want me to say? Have you ever loved him yourself? All I really wanted was to leave Olympus. I didn't exactly abscond. I doubt I had much of a choice, but I went willingly. Perhaps Zeus knew how I felt, and thought he was doing me a favor. As for Hades, I grew to love him, yes. He always gave me my space. Won't you, uh, won't you please talk to him? Or visit Cerberus again, or Nyx? As for Olympus, surely all of you can figure something out? I just don't know, my son. Olympus is behind me, and the Underworld. I cannot imagine I would be very welcome there after all this time. <coughs> but you are the Queen. Yeah. You are the queen. Well, it looks like we're just stuck in a vicious cycle, aren't we? Well... If our old friend Sisyphus has taught us anything, you just gotta pick yourself up and do it again. Whoa. What's up, Hypnos? Welcome to the House of Hades, where death is our business. Bye, Hypnos. Resolve the trouble with the satyrs yet. I guess so. Question for you, father. The name Kore happened to mean anything to you by any chance? Zagreus, why would you say that? What? Where did you... Ah, the cold witch brought it up to Chi. Never repeat that name again. Not here, nor anywhere, you hear me, boy. Know only this. The one called by that name despised it even more than I. So let's see. Demeter's daughter went missing. She wound up down here. I happened. Mother left. Demeter and everyone else on Olympus, apparently, has no idea. That about right? Tell me what happened. I'll tell you nothing. Keep meddling in matters that you cannot understand, and you'll incur the wrath of Olympus on all that you hold dear. And know that it is not for my sake that I'm warning you. You can't hide the truth forever. Also, how loud are these conversations? Like, can't everyone hear us? Or is it just like people are choosing not to listen? Hey, boy, just me again. Here to report, it's pretty dangerous out there, even without you on guard duty all the time. The venerable Hound of Hell barely acknowledges the softly spoken prince's platitude, knowing full well the underworld is not as vigilantly guarded as in ages past. Oh, he's trying his best. Who's the best three-headed boy? No offense, but I'm pretty sure Cerberus is like the only three-headed boy, but he is still the best, I agree. Achilles must be on break. Moaning and groaning. What's new, house contractor? Ooh, I can finally buy this. All right, so now each Infernal Trove will start with even more stuff in it. I like the sound of this one here, good contractor. Go make it happen. I give the orders around here. Hmm. Let's see. Still not interested in the Erebus Gate. Let's go with... You know what? Let's go with Darkness Pitch Black. Now claiming Darkness Chamber Rewards will grant you plus five max health. I grant you funding and autonomy to do this job upon your earliest convenience, Contractor. 
so wasteful of my realm's resources, boy. Well, Hades, they're already part of your realm. They're just kind of going back into the cycle, you know? It's not like those gems just disappear into ash. I don't think, anyway. Oh, um, hello. Hello, Orpheus. Say, Orpheus, you wouldn't happen to know the nymph Eurydice, would you? Tall, woodsy type. I get the impression maybe you know each other. What? Why, yes. I know Eurydice. Oh, I once knew her, I should say. Why ever would you ask me such a thing, my friend? I saw her, mate, in Asphodel. She's doing fine up there, all on her own. The two of you, you used to know each other then. We more than knew each other, Sagrius. We were husband and wife. She was my muse. To think that we are doomed to be apart during our afterlives. Oh, well. You taken this really too well, Orpheus. Oh, well. Don't you have a message I could bring to her if we should meet again? Something like that? I do not wish to trouble her again, my friend. Speak not to her of me, all right? I have my memory of her. It is enough. You can't be serious. At last. Father loved her, didn't he? Mother, I mean. Faith like that. He's just stubborn enough to hold on to the idea of her, isn't he? Though what she saw in him, I'm not sure. Your father was different with Persephone, to some extent. He has always been as you know him, yet... Her lightness. It affected even him, I think. And he knows that he was better with her than without. Sounds like a lot of pressure on Mother to fix all his failings. But it sounds as though she cared for him as well. And you and Cerberus. She said she misses you. She did, did she? Your Highness, I just wanted you to know that if you do get out, I, we, are going to miss you around here. Okay, so, bye. Um, thanks. Wow. Yes. Everyone's around here today. Excuse me, is there something I can do for you, Prince Sagrius? It's nothing. I just thought I'd say that was well fought back there. There's no returning to the way things used to be, Zag. Now, can I offer you some words of advice? Get over yourself and get ready to die out there next time we meet. Hmm. I'd ask you to join me for a drink, lad, but I know you've a task ahead of you, and liquor dulls the senses. Fortunately so, under most circumstances except yours. Leave me to it, will you? And I'll have one for the both of us. Thanks, Achilles. Some other time, Achilles. Just checking in on you, but I'll be on my way again shortly. What's in stock? Mmm, I don't I have nowhere near enough keys for that. Uh I could spend the gems. I'm gonna hold off. What do you have, head chef? What's cooking? Ooh! Fair market value. Got some ambrosia. Alright, you know what? I'm gonna stop by the house contractor and get this lounge fixed up. Deep cleaning and detailing. Well, I don't see why not. Whew, it's a big job having to sweep up after Cerberus sheds everywhere. It wasn't your fault, Cerberus. And let's get the detailing. This contractor. This ought to make the lounge a little more presentable. Until Cerberus wrecks it again. Finally, you cleared the mess you caused. Oh, yeah, now we've got more stuff we can add. But, uh,. Pretty expensive. And I want to spend all my diamonds on work orders first. See any new prophecies available? Anything on the list? No, it doesn't look like it. Oh well. We'll just have to uh keep working at it. Hmm. Alright, let's go with just keep increasing deep pockets. Hmm, do I switch over? You know what? I'm going to keep working until I can get enough for increased privilege status. And until I can get enough keys to unlock more talents. See you, Mira. But I need a crap load of keys. Oh, 
Oh, ahoy, Skelly. You know something, Boyo? I think you could do a real number on one of these columns holding up this place and bring the whole thing down in just a few swipes. Boom, boom, boom. And hate to be standing near one of them if you did. Wreck my father's finely crafted architecture every chance I get. That I can do for sure. I mean, we've already been doing that, but now we'll do it even more. Okay, ooh, Coronacht. Let's see. Coronacht, is this what you really are? All right, so what aspects do we have here? We have the aspect of Chiron. Your special automatically seeks the foe last struck by your attack. So your special now basically just becomes more single target damage. Grant me the aspect of Chiron. And the aspect of Hera. Your cast loads bloodstones into your next attack, firing on impact. So basically now when you hit the enemy, uh, your cast will also damage them. So you can stack up as many casts as you want that you have available to you. Grant me the aspect of Hera. You know what? I'm going to go with the aspect of Chiron. Chiron. Alright, so as you can see, New arrows or something there, pal? now that I've hit Skelly, uh, you can see that little crosshair on him. If I press my special, the arrows will track to him. Though, of course, you know, they do have to kind of curve to hit their target, so if they hit a wall or something, they'll, dis they'll disappear. That's pretty handy. And let's see, what keepsake should I take? How about... You know what? I'm gonna take the Pierced Butterfly. So I need to clear encounters without taking damage. Well, I already don't like taking damage, so uh, I think I can work with that. But that is gonna have to happen on the next run of Hades, so thank you for watching, everybody. If you'd like to stay updated on the things that I do, I have a Twitter, a Discord, and I stream on Twitch, so, which you can all see in the description. Uh, so we managed to make it through run number th 13, the potentially unlucky one, with no real headaches. Which is pretty lucky. Anyway, for now, this is The Defender, signing out. See you later!